In this video, we're going to walk through the process of installing Acquia's Dev Desktop on Windows. To begin with, go ahead and go to www.acquia.com downloads, and then Dev Desktop will show near the top. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit, and under the Drupal 7 heading, go ahead and make sure that the Windows version is selected, and click Download. Click Save File. Once the file is downloaded, Go ahead and navigate to its location on your hard drive and double click it to open it. This screen gives you the option of not installing the Xmail server. We'll go ahead and leave that checked and click next. This screen tells you exactly what's going to be installed. You can review this when you're done. Click next. As long as you're good with the license agreement, go ahead and click next again. On this screen, you have the option of selecting where you want the stack applications installed. In this case, it's defaulting the program file slash Acquia Drupal, and where you want your first Drupal site installed. And right now it's set to my user folder in sites, and then Acquia Drupal will be the name of the folder that includes the Drupal installation. Now we're not going to be using this Drupal installation for the purposes of the series, but if in the future you want to use it, you may want to change this to a location that you can remember. When you're done, go ahead and click Next. This screen allows us to set the ports that Apache and MySQL use. Most of the time, you don't need to modify this. This is mostly if you're running multiple AMP stacks and the ports are already being used. Let's go ahead and click Next. And this screen will allow you to set the settings for your first Drupal installation. I'm going to go ahead and input some information and click Next. This is a quick review of our settings that we've chosen. I'm going to go ahead and click Next and then next one more time in order to begin the installation. It will take a few minutes in order to install everything. Once it's done installing, go ahead and click Finish, and that will start the Acquia Dev Desktop Control Panel. Now notice that we're running Apache and MySQL. If you want to jump to your site, go ahead and click Go to My Site, and here it is. You can begin working with your Drupal site. Now this version of Drupal is Acquia Drupal, which is a little different than the version that you would download from Drupal.org. So in the next video, what we're going to do is look at how to import a vanilla Drupal installation that we get off of Drupal.org into Dev Desktop so we can work with that version instead. This next Drupal site will also be the location that we use for the rest of our example scripts throughout this series.